Hi there, this is Callum, e learning support officer for the Business School. Um, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can release a folder of files to students in Moodle. Now, generally, we recommend that all files that you put into Moodle you do link to in the kind of add resource and link to a file or website. It means that it makes it much clearer and easier for students to access individual files. However, sometimes you do have a bulk of files which you know you don't want to say it, share every single one because it takes up loads of space in the Moodle central column and they don't particularly need it. Perhaps it's just a, a group of files that students are going to go in and actually work with, so they just need to get their hands on the files, they don't need to access them directly. Now the way we do that is by doing what we call sharing a directory. Now the directory is a folder within Moodle's file manager. Um, in this video I'm going to actually skip over the file manager kind of ins and outs quite quickly. Um, there is another video called uploading files to Moodle and using the file manager which if you're not too familiar with the file manager then I'd recommend going and have a, having a quick look at. Um, however in the meantime what the way I'm going to demonstrate this is I've got a folder called demo directory which is just on my desktop and within that I've got three folders with just a demo word document within them um, and I'm going to take that folder I'm going to right click and I'm going to send to compress zip folder and this creates what we call, call a, zip a zip file now those of you familiar with zip files will know that essentially a folder is kind of like a collapsed load of files but if we zip it then um, windows and computers generally treat it as a single file so it means we can just upload it as one file onto the internet instead of having to upload lots of individual files um, now I've got that demo directory .zip and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Moodle and I'm going to go under administration to files and you'll see that here I've got my rather messy file manager. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on upload a file and I'm going to browse and I'm going to select demo directory and then I'll just click upload and that will take that zip file so all of, all of the files that are inside the, those folders that we then zipped up it takes it as one and it chucks it up onto Moodle for us and if I go down to my demo directory you can see that has been uploaded here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click unzip click OK and what you'll now see is I've got this demo directory but I've also got my demo directory up the top here which if I click on it you'll see we've got folder 1 folder 2 and folder 3 with the relevant files within them Okay, so that's now a folder within my file manager. However, students can't see this, okay? Only I can see this. I can, or anyone with the administration rights to the site can go and they can see that folder. Um, but students can't see it at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a directory. Um, and to do that, I'm going to go into my area. And in the center column, by turning editing on, under the add a resource drop down menu, I'm going to select display a directory. Now I'm just going to call the demo directory and if I scroll down you'll see it's got this display directory drop down menu. Now within here it's got all the different like folders I have within the Moodle file menu or the file manager. So I could select to share the whole file manager but I don't want to. I just want to give students direct access to this demo directory so if I click on that and then save and return to course. I'm just going to turn everything off and there's now a link on the central um, column which students can see and they can click on demo directory and it gives them access to those three folders but as you can see they can't actually get out of there they can't get into the rest of the files in the file manager it's only what's within this demo directory folder and they can get in and access the files within there okay so that's how we can share a folder full of um, files with students um, it's by um, adding resource and then selecting a directory from the file manager